Hey guys, welcome back for another Topic Tuesday. Today we're gonna to be talking about the top five nail polishes for spring. I did pick nail polishes, but they're more of polish categories. Do you know what I mean? Anything in this type of a polish is a favorite for spring. I'm not really dedicated to seasonal favorites, so this was the easiest way for me to do this. So let's see which ones I picked. You had to know there was gonna be a textured polish in here if you've ever seen any of my videos. I picked Zoya Zoe, and this is just a light, fun, pink pixie dust. It's glittery and shimmery, and it reflects the light really well. I have two coats of Zoe on the nail wheel. And I don't think I have swatches of most of these, but if I do, I'll insert them. Now the next two that I have go to show that it's a category. So I like like turquoisey or periwinkle blues with shimmer in them for this time of year when it first gets sunny and you're all excited to put something bright on your nails. This one is Show Us Your Tips. And I think you can hopefully see that shimmer in there. And this one is Essie's Viva Antigua, and it also has a shimmer in there. And they just, because of that shimmer, they just catch the light, and so they really make my, na my nails just feel bright and fun and cheery. So this is OPI's Show Us Your Tips. Hopefully you can see some of that shimmer. And this is Essie's Viva Antigua. And I love both of those colors. I really, um, when I first started gathering colors, there were quite a few more blues. I had to narrow it down. The next one on my list is Moonshine Manny's Honors Confetti Cupcake. And again, this is this whole range that I think is great for springtime. I love this one and I think that this is great for springtime. This is just a great white Crelly and it has gold and pink and blue in there. It's great on the nails, I love this one. I do have a picture so I'll insert it. But I love any type of Crelly with glitter that's bright and fun for springtime right now. I have some that have um, green and purple bases and I have others that have white. Definitely from a lot of indie brands you can find others like this. Um, I can't think of a mainstream one right offhand, but there may be. But this type of a nail polish, super fun for this time of year for me. And this is Moonshine Manny Honors Confetti Cupcake. Soya's Perry is kind of a muted purple, and I love that about it. It's a little bit grayed out, and that's part of what has always drawn me to this. So I feel like it's still a springy color, but it's got that little bit muted quality which makes it different enough that I love it. Um, I think it's Brandy from the Thrive Collection. I ordered it but I don't have it yet. Is a pink with that same type of quality. So there are several different types of colors like that and many different brands, not just Zoya. That's just the one that I had for an example. But I love polishes with that type of grayed out muted color quality. I think that they're especially fun for spring. So this is Zoya's Perry. And this is two coats. And this last one is not going to be for everybody. Some people love this type of polish and some people hate it. So um, this is Essie's Joe Couture line Fairy Tailor. I first heard about this polish, I think it was this one from Zenora from Zen Life on YouTube. Um, I'll link her channel. It might not be Zen Life, but that's what I was think. That's what comes to mind. Sorry if the angle changed. My memory card was full. It's been a rough recording day today. Essie's Fairy Tailor. I like it at two to three coats, depending on how my application is, because I'm not super consistent. It's still not 100% opaque at three coats, but it gives it that very delicate kind of masks my discoloration. Um, it's a sheer finish, very feminine to me. So, like I said, this won't be for everybody, but if this is a type of polish that you like, Essie's Fairy Tailor is a good one. And I did still swatch it for you on the nail wheel, but you probably can barely even tell it's there. So I'm excited to hear what everybody's favorite polishes for spring are. Why don't you guys let me know down below what your favorite polishes are. Thank you for spending your time with me today, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!